The Volkswagen Golf has been in production since 1974 and has been hugely popular through all six generations. A tidy Mark I GTI is an absolute classic now, but as technology has advanced, this is what a brand new Golf Cabriolet looks like. It looks great, it oozes quality and it drives just like a normal hatchback. Inside, it does feel like excellent quality in here. I love all the buttons and controls because they're just like you would find in an Audi, which is to be expected, of course. In fact, the whole car is very much like an Audi A3. I love the sports seats, they hold you really well, and the suede and leather combination is really comfortable. Also, there's lots of cubby holes and cup holders, so you can put your drinks, etc., in various different places throughout the cabin. Spec is impressive as well because even the mid-range SE models come with parking sensors, cruise control and automatic headlights as standard. The touchscreen for the sat-nav and the radio is easy to use and saving your favourite radio stations is an absolute doddle. Safety-wise, it has the usual electronic stability programme and airbags that you would expect from a Volkswagen. But being a cabriolet, it also has a pop-up system which activates if the car detects it is about to flip over. If you own one of these, you can't have too many friends because there are only two seats in the back. But hey, at least they're usable, which is more than can be said for some sporty cars on the market today. There's plenty of leg room and there's also plenty of headroom, especially if the roof is down. There is room in the boot for your shopping, but don't go sail shopping in the summer because when the roof is down, it does take up some precious boot space. <laughs> The suspension feels firm enough so that you can feel the road that you're travelling on and it corners and drives very well. When the roof is up and you're travelling at speed, it actually feels like a normal hatchback. You don't notice excessive road noise or anything like that. There are three engines to choose from. You can either go for a 1.2 or a 1.4 petrol turbo engine or you can go for a very economical 1.6 diesel engine which returns figures of up to 64.2 miles per gallon and is only £30 a year to tax. But if it's power that you're after, you're going to have to hold on to your purse strings for a little while longer because the 2 litre petrol and diesel versions will be on sale later this year. Now with British weather being slightly unpredictable, the good thing about this car is that you can actually operate the roof whilst you're driving along. So provided you're doing speeds of less than 18 miles an hour, which you will be around town, you can actually operate the roof soon as it starts raining. On the downside, these cars are relatively expensive. The back seat passengers are exposed to the elements and the boot space is quite small. However, all that aside, resale of used Volkswagens is generally very good and they do hold their value very well. So, if you're looking for a good looking Cabriolet that drives very much like a hatchback and has excellent build quality, this could be the car for you.